This is a special shout out video to the truth. I'm not gonna read his comment word for word. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Seeing as though it's my first request reply. So I'm gonna make this in a three part video. Maybe 20 minutes long. And um, this really touches me deep because as I'm saying this, I'm speaking as though I am 18 again. I remember when I was 18, the, the things I said to myself, I said, this will not last forever. Um, this youth, these people, these, this energy, um, it's not going to last forever. And I knew that I needed to make as many uh, connections as I could. But like you, Truth, being in the shadow, that's our option. We, uh, we go with the easy route. I'm pretty sure that you, much like I, didn't get the pep talk. Um, we're probably, we're pretty much lone wolves out here, learning from our own mistakes and going off of what has worked for people and um, what could possibly help you. That's how we kind of live. We learn by example and we don't follow the footsteps of those who have failed. I can tell that. And I don't give a shit what your race is. <clears throat> so let's start this off with something that's really deep and touching that I wish someone had told me when I was 18. Truth, hear me out. Open your ears and get ready. This moment that you're 18, whether you're in freshman or sophomore year, you need to make as many connections as you can. Hear me, listen, please pay attention, please hear me out. You have to take this into such depth, what I'm about to tell you. Without school, and do not mind what these idiots out here are saying, the indoctrination of school and blah, blah, blah. Yes, you're indoctrinated, but hey, would you rather be someone who doesn't know anything, following the footsteps of others, or someone who has a choice, who can do multiple things? That is what the opportunity of school is for you, okay? That's not my point in telling you this. This is it right here. Pay attention. You see, these people that you're seeing at school, I'm sure there's over at least 50 people where you can kind of relate to. I'm pretty sure if you actually made the eye contact, loosened up, and what people mean by loosening up is relaxing. Don't even think about what could go wrong if you say something. Say whatever it is, even if it's stupid. People love when you just say whatever. Sometimes when I was in the class and I remember, I would, there'd be a group of people or sometimes in lunch, I would just like, <laughs> real loud. And no one could tell where it came from except for my group of friends or whoever was close. And they'd be like, Wow, he just made that retarded loud sound and he made all these other people jump. You understand? It's things like that. Stupid things. Say anything stupid that you think is in your head. You have to understand that school is a melting pot. A first trial out for you to become in the real world. Yes, there's stuff that they're trying to teach you that is not good. But hear me out. You are amongst a hundred to three thousand people, and these are not just 
don't think of these people as just being kids or adolescents. These people, the way they are in high school right now, is how they're going to be after high school. Pay attention to that. Now, the reason why you have to make these connections right now, and I'm not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the frick. I'm talking about a connection where you can have a conversation your own type of way with someone and it feels right. You understand? Because these people are going to grow into a different path in life, which is a good thing because you need that connection. Because you're not going to travel that exact path that they are and they will achieve success and you will be on your success road too. You will also need these people. And let's say it's just one path. Well, suppose you have four paths and now five paths. Paths meaning connections. You have your Facebook, you have your Twitter, you have all of that. You no, need, no longer need to just exchange numbers. Now you have a social media that can connect you for life. Make those connections. Make connections with people that you never thought you would talk to, okay? Now the reason why I'm telling you this will boil up and it will follow up to your whole entire question, okay? Now remember, this is the first part. You, these connections will help you become the man. All right, I'm telling you. And how you go about this is so simple. Walking up to someone who has given you that two second look or whatever, and mind you, truth, you have to come out of your shell if you are in a shell. Try your hardest to stand up straight. I don't know if you do that a lot. Okay, no one told me that. No one told me that body language is everything. They didn't tell me this, all right? You see how I'm standing up right now? Um, I've gotten used to it. But how I used to stand up, because I wanted to portray myself as being a nice person or whatnot, I would stand up like this. Do you see the difference, truth? If we are like this, we are in a fixed position. You will never be looked upon as somebody interesting. If you switch it up and you don't have to stick out your chest as though it hurts, but after a while, you'll feel in this midsection right around here is where that changes into that. That will help you become this positive person and cocky to others. But you'll notice the people who give you attitude, if you merely just go up to them and be like, what's up? Stare them down, much like animals. We're no different. Stare them down. Watch them look away, okay? Watch them look away, chill, and they will make eye contact with you again because it is natural to see if that person is either A, scared when I looked away, or B, you know, truthful and he really wants to say something. And after you make that connection with the eyes, it is on from there. So what do you like to do? Hey man, I like to do this right here, whatever. One person at a time. Or, especially now, and I forgot to tell you, because of this time, you are going to be experiencing the same thing as 60 other people in your class or 20 or however many people in your class. You're going to be experiencing to, for, for how many semesters, dude, and you don't have long. You don't think because you're 18, sophomore or, or, or junior, don't think, oh man, I can't wait till this is all over. I'm going to be this and I'm going to be that. These people that are in your class right now are going to help you with your success, even if you really don't have a good conversation with them. You understand? Making that link, making that connection, you have to try. You have to try. It doesn't matter. Now, 
Another thing about being in the classroom with 20 other people is that because of these experiences, these are things that you can brew conversation from nothing and get to understand one individual person at a time. You will never know what you can learn from that other kid who's similar to you, or from that other kid who wears the glasses or who's kind of weird, or from that skater dude, or from that jock, or from that guy who's really popular, or from that asshole. You will never know until you strike up a random conversation, and you will be so shocked at how willing and how open arms they are to be cool with you. Now, I know there are probably still cliques and sections, and what I mean by cliques and sections meaning there's certain people who hang out with certain people. I, my friend, was totally different. I went to every single group, the goths, the populars, the skaters, all of them, every single one of those groups. I would hop out, sometimes go here and go there, because this is what it is. If you just stick to one group, they will only think of you as that sheep. But once you become that black sheep and embrace that darkness, like you say, embrace it, I'm gonna tell you why. Because that darkness is actually you being the dot that stands out from the rest of the dots in the circle. You are that one single dot that is free to move around and talk to whoever you'd like to. Do you understand? Do you totally understand what I'm saying? If you don't understand how, how you can utilize your, your, your strength, which you think is a weakness, it totally isn't. You are different from a, for a reason. There is a reason why you want to feel like the man because you are the man. You got it? You are the man. All right? Now, let's move on. Now, I know that being in school, there's a lot of things right now that is happening media-wise. Um, people are doing stuff, and... Uh, you're witnessing this and you wish you could do this or whatever and do this. I want you to understand something that no one's ever probably told you. And this comes from a person who had to be literally having nothing for like four or five months. I've, had, I've been through it. I've been through the darkness and have did almost like what Jesus had did with no food. Okay, so I don't want you to have to go through that. You may live a different life, but you have to understand this right here. Your life is a test. It is all a big simulation. There are distractions and there are things to cause you to want to fumble. You are going to try, there are things that are going to try to make you fumble. Because when you fumble, you are more closer to the end. You understand? Whenever you think a negative thought, you are pushing yourself back one micrometer. And there's a hundred thoughts that go into your head. That means there's a hundred micrometers that you are setting back yourself. Life is a timeline an even plane and things and obstacles will come rocks and everything you have to know this you have to feel this and embrace this because when you understand that is it is just a game that we are mere machines that are lucky enough to be able to move our hands at will or whatever you know what i'm saying that there is another higher step after this after you realize that, then you will become that man. You want to know why? Because you'll realize that this pettiness that is going on and media and all that has nothing to do with life. Has nothing to do with your growth. You are your destiny. You are the person who can have 
a whole bunch of options and it is the day and age where it's so great to be a man. I know that it's hard to find a job or whatnot, but it's not about that. Even me creating a little animation and creating stuff and venturing out and talking to different people, all of the talkings and being patient and never yelling at someone or never being, you know, holding my feelings within myself until I got what I needed and then bursting out, you know, all of that patience, just a little bit of a test in order to, for me to make myself who I am now today. I've reached and extended and always extended even to those who I knew did not want to talk to me, even to those who gave me attitude at first and just because I stuck in there and looked them into their eyes and just asked them one more time for my request or whatnot, they lightened up. You will be amazed what this from this can do. You will be amazed what, what just not even letting your emotions take over can do. Now, I'm going to cut this one short and I'm going to make a second video, alright, that's going to help you pass that man stage because we're going to venture on into how to keep your attention, alright? We're going to venture on into that. And in fact, I'll add this little last piece. That, what I just told you about the chest and the talking to, to, to people where you know you're nervous to. That will gain you respect, one person at a time. You don't have long, you don't. And I have to be, I have to admit it to you, you don't want to end up in my predicament, okay? I, I'm good now because I, I had a chance and I, this Facebook and all that stuff came up. But when I did my skateboarding days, I canceled out a lot of people um, who I thought were toxic for me, who, who I thought didn't sound right, much like I said with the country sound. And I, I know that's a stereotypical thing, but it is just, it's obvious if you cannot speak and you're not willing to um, have that conversation, we're not on the same brain frequency. Your frequency is jaded and mine's just on the wave, you know what I'm saying, you're nowhere near that. So, I, for years, especially, it hit me when I was in a junior and a senior year, um, that, and, uh, you know, I was kind of still popular or whatnot, but I chose the path of being the shadow, and I don't want you to go, go too deep into that, because when you, when you come out of school, you will hate yourself uh, for being the shadow, and you will notice that society is going along and there's other people who have people in their lives, it doesn't matter, relationships or whatever, and you will find yourself alone. Um, you cannot be in this shadow. I want you to be in the shadow, but also be proud and grasp that difference that you are, you're different. You see what, you're, you see what I mean? I'm sure there's one good thing that you're good at and you know, you can leave it in the comment, but whatever you're good at, remember that you can always utilize that and then make it into something where people would like. And that's how you gain that man status, I guarantee you. So, um, you know, stay positive, get ready for uh, part two. And um, as I end this video, I gotta make the announcement once again, uh, type in old hats capital O and capital H, old hats. Um, that will be my link for my art. That's where I'm going to be producing all of um, my art. There is uh, going to be a music video slash animation that I'm making for this rap artist. I know it's a different angle. You already know I like rap, but um, I really want to make it big. And uh, I hope my, that my subscribers that are now, I want you to know that you are in a special bracket right here for if I do make it, okay, you will be in that special bracket and there will be things that are special for you, guaranteed, because your replies and all of that 
you're you're keeping me in there. You know what I mean? And you will you'll never know the gratification and that good feeling of someone who's really saying, "Hey, what you're saying uh, makes me feel good, even if I don't remember it in 30 minutes." Um, I can always remember it when the time comes up. And I, I like that I can leave that, that piece of seed in you because, um, you know, I want you to grow. You know, and they ask me anything. I have a trillion things to say. I'm